Good morning, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Today we are going to go straight into the devotion for February 25. And Lord, we say thank you for your enablement. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your knowledge and understanding. We say teach us this morning in Jesus' name, amen. We are looking at the devotion for February 25. And it says, now it is the Lord. The scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. And it says, in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us, sanctification is it possible to become so enamored of god's good gift that we fail to worship him the giver dr albert b simpson the founder of the christian and missionary alliance invited to preach in a bible conference in england discovered on his arrival that he was to follow two other bible teachers all three had been given the same topic sanctification from the pulpit the first speaker made clear his position that sanctification means eradication the old carnal nature is removed the second a suppressionist advice sit on the lead and keep the old nature down Dr. Simpson in his turn quietly told his audience that he could only present Jesus Christ himself as God's answer. Jesus Christ is your sanctifier. I want you to say that this morning. Jesus Christ is my sanctifier. Your all and in all. God wants you to get your eyes away from the gifts. He wants your gaze to be on the giver, Christ himself, he said. This is a wonderful word for those who will worship rightly. Once it was a blessing, now it is the Lord. I think that is the testimony. That once it was the blessing, you were just serving him because of the blessing. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Because you didn't know there's something more than the blessing. But your testimony should be now it is the Lord. Hallelujah. So today we are looking at now it is the Lord. So in Christ Jesus himself, God has given us sanctification. So stop looking at just the blessings of God because there is more. There is far more. There is Jesus himself. So now it's time to rise up and look unto the cross. Behold Jesus, because in Jesus is your sanctification. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. Jesus is the only way. And that is why a few days ago we looked at, Seek ye first the kingdom, Matthew 6, The kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything we follow. When you are sanctified, everything we follow. So I hope as you go out today, or as you continue this journey, that it will not just be for you about the blessings. You will graduate and move beyond then, beyond there, to come into the place where we can say, now it is the Lord. Hallelujah. The prayer here says, Father, this morning I praise you for your holy presence in my life. Glorify yourself through me today. Amen. Can you open your mouth and just praise this good God? Father, we magnify your holy name. We praise you because you are God. We praise you because you are holy. You are faithful. And Lord, we praise you for your holy presence in our life. We say glorify yourself through us today in the mighty name of Jesus. You say we should arise and shine. And so today we arise, we shine. Let your glory be revealed in and through us to the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to spend time just praising God today. Ask him that the Lord will be in you. In any way you are focused on the blessings, ask him to open your eyes to focus on Jesus. And I pray the Holy Spirit will quicken your spirit, man, to focus on Jesus from now on. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow by God's grace. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Hallelujah.